What's up you guys? It's Charlotte. Welcome back to the vlog. Today I have a very, very exciting video for you guys that I was honestly not expecting to make for a few weeks, but here it is. So in today's video, we are going to be unboxing and setting up my brand new iPhone 13 Pro. I am so, so excited. My dad and I actually went to the Verizon store yesterday and picked this up, but we went when the lighting was bad and I waited until today to do this video to unbox my phone. Like I haven't even opened it yet because I wanted to do this video. So I am so ready to get started. We are not gonna waste any time. We are just going to open this up right now. Okay, are we ready? Here she is! Oh my gosh, so exciting. Oh my goodness, I literally cannot wait to open this. Okay, so this is the phone that I have now. This is the iPhone XR. I think I've had this for coming up on four years now. I got this phone for, I believe it was my 18th birthday because I know that I had this phone my freshman year of college and I'm going into my senior year of college this year. So we've had this phone for quite a while. She's been very tried and true. I am so lucky to have had her, but we are now moving on to the new model. Both of these phones I got in white because I feel like they're the most versatile. I like to have clear cases on my phones like the one that I have on here right now. This is a clear case with a little bit of a design on it. So I wanna get something similar for my new phone and I think white is just the most versatile background for the kind of cases that I like. So I think that is everything. Let's stop dilly-dallying. Let's get right into unboxing this. I'm so excited. Okay, I moved over here to my desk so I could lay everything out and I won't drop this phone brand new. I'm so nervous about dropping it or ruining it in some way. So we have a nice open flat surface for it to rest on. This is the box that it comes in. I think the only difference now with like the newer model phones is that they don't come with a charging brick that plugs into the wall. Let's jump right into this. I, you guys, have been waiting for so long, whole day, just to do this. Peel these off. Here we go. And... Here she is. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh, here she is, front, back. Look at those cameras. <gasps> oh my God, I'm so excited. So it's got this little cover on it. I'm just gonna, oh, satisfying. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Look how big the screen is. I feel like it takes up a lot more of like this, surface area of the front of the phone than the screen does on this one. Maybe it doesn't, it's just like the case that I have on here, but this is so exciting. Okay, so other than the actual phone itself, it comes with the instruction manual here. I think that all phones come with. And it also comes with the charging cable. And again, this one doesn't actually come with the part that plugs into the wall, the adapter for the cable but I think my dad ordered some, so they should be on their way very soon. Okay, let's open this thing up. There we go, it's turning on. You guys, I am so excited. I'm sure you're probably really tired of hearing me say that, but I am, I'm so excited. I'm just going to swipe up on this, and then this is the typical setup. So you pick your language. I obviously speak English, select your country. I'm in the United States. Then it does this really cool thing called Quick Start, which is basically a super fast way to transfer all the stuff on your existing phone to your new phone. So we are going to do this. It says, okay, bring your current iPhone or iPad. Oh, there we go, okay. So it has this little pop-up notification on my existing phone. This is the XR that says set up and I'm just gonna hit continue. So then on the new phone, it comes up with this little like spinning QR code circle Jarvis from the Avengers looking thing. <laughs> and then you just scan that little bubble with your old phone and it's like a QR code basically that your phone scans and lets you set your phone up. So then once that happens, you type in your passcode it looks like. And now it's got a loading screen that says setting up your new phone. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Okay, so not exactly sure. I need to be here. It says, oh, activating your device. Okay, we're gonna sit and wait while it activates my device. So now that we're done setting all of that up, we have a couple different options to transfer my data from my old phone to my new phone. Number one, you can download it from iCloud storage or option two, you can just transfer it from your old iPhone to your new iPhone by having them 
like sit right next to each other. I think I'm gonna do that one. It says time to transfer 45 to 55 minutes. So that's the one that I'm gonna pick. And we are going to let this load. Once it's complete, I will come back to you guys and we will finish setting everything up and then I will show you everything that is on my iPhone. Okay, we are back. The transfer is complete. So I'm not exactly sure what's gonna happen now. I think I just hit continue. This is my old phone. Ah, uh, that's scary. So I need to erase everything that's on this phone. My, all my apps and data. Let me make sure that I have everything on this phone first. Okay, it looks like everything is all transferred and backed up and everything. So ooh, I'm going to go ahead and erase everything on this phone. This is scary. Oh, okay, are you sure you wanna continue? Yeah, do it. Oh God. All right, well, on to the next. <laughs> okay, the screen is definitely bigger. Like it takes up more of the surface area of the phone, which is really cool. We are gonna do a really quick what's on my iPhone because I just got a new iPhone, obviously. And I wanna show you guys, my setup is the exact same as it was on my old phone, but I haven't done one of these in a long time. So I wanna show you guys like how I have everything set up. Okay, this is my home screen. It's just a very simple background, very like minimalist and aesthetic, but I love it so much. Then when you swipe up, it's the same background and then you see all my apps laid out on the front. So up at the top, I just have kind of like my default has all my like go-to information on it the time, the day, the date, my battery percentage, all that stuff. And then I kind of have my entire phone organized into little like quadrants of four apps and like picture widgets. So the homepage is just a collection of apps that I use the most often. We've got my messages, calendar, clock, and Gmail, and then a cute little picture of a little flower with a quote in it. I honestly, I don't know what the quote says. It says, when you're in a dark place, you sometimes tend to think you've been buried. Perhaps you've been planted. Bloom. That's cute. I think I got all of these on Pinterest. Then below that, I've got Chrome, photo settings, and weather. And next to that, I've got another little picture widget that has a quote in it as well. This one says, someday we will find what we're looking for, or maybe not. Maybe we'll find something much greater than that. And then down at the bottom, I've got my pinned apps. These are apps that I just use like literally all day, every single day. So I want these to like always be easily accessible. We've got phone, Instagram, camera, and maps, which I think I'm changing to Waze soon. Comment down below if you have any like preference in Apple Maps versus Google Maps versus Waze. Currently use Google Maps, but it's been steering me wrong recently, so. Might be fixing that. Okay, quickly we're going to swipe to the left and this is kind of what I call like my go-to page. It just has a bunch of like good information on it. It's got my student ID number. Then it's got a countdown and I change this all the time to be counting down to different things. Right now it's counting down to the end of my Chloe Ting challenge. Then we've got a little notes widget so I can easily access my notes. Right next to that is just another picture with a nice quote. It says, going through things you never thought you'd go through will only take you places you never thought you'd get to by Morgan Harper Nicholas. Then underneath that, we've got two of my like productivity app widgets. So the one on the left is an app called Flora. It's basically it's supposed to help you stay off your phone while you're trying to study or read or be productive or you don't even have to. It basically, it's just, it helps you stay off your phone. And then the one right next to that is an app called Finch, which I love. It is one of my favorite apps on my phone. It is a self-care app and you basically take care of yourself by taking care of this little pet Finch that you have, which I just think is so cute. So that's my little Finch Noodle. He is so cute, love of my life, I adore him. I would do anything for Noodle, including take care of myself. <laughs> so anyway, that's the go-to page. Then we are going to go to my next page of apps. Same thing, they're organized in quadrants and picture widgets. So first we've got a quote that says, be messy and complicated and afraid and show up anyways. So good. Then we've got YouTube, Netflix, Pinterest, and my YouTube studio app, which is basically like my YouTube behind the scenes analytics for my videos, how much money I'm making, all of that stuff. Below that, we've got another quote from the same person as the quote on my go-to page. This one says, over rivers and valleys, mountains and plains, over all you have lost and all you have gained, over all you have gathered and all you let go, you have traveled at length through the wild of unknowns and through all that is changing, you can see you have grown. You have walked in the light. You have never been alone. 
I just think that's really sweet. Right next to that, we have Spotify, Snapchat, Canvas, and GroupMe. Another little picture widget below that. And then on the last kind of like quadrant of this page, I've got kind of my like work productivity apps. We've got Slack and Airtable, Notion and Premiere Rush, which is the app that I use to edit my TikToks and Instagram Reels. Next page, we've got Disney+, Plus, Hulu, Prime Video, and HBO Max. With the exception of Netflix and YouTube, this is my like streaming service corner. Right next to that, I've got this cutie little like beige collage. I just think this fit like the theme and the color scheme of my phone really well. Underneath that, we've got TikTok, Adobe Lightroom, Wattpad, and Audible. Right next to that, we've got a picture of the New York City skyline. Beneath that, we've got Grubhub, my Canon Connect app, Solitaire, and my P Tracker. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. My Canon Connect app, I think this is a really cool app. It basically lets me use my phone as a remote control for my camera. And then next to that, we've got another cute little like collage picture. Very aesthetic, very cute. And then on my last page of apps, this is kind of like, mm, apps that I don't use a ton, but like I use enough that I want them on some kind of homepage. I'm still kind of debating how much I need this page, but it's fine. So up at the top, we have another little collage of newspapers and sunflowers. Very cute, fit the theme. Then we've got TD Bank and PNC Bank. Those are the two banks that I use. We've got my notes app and my Venmo. Then below that, we've just got a very aesthetic picture of some light coming through some looks like palm leaves. Next to that, we've got Simple Bills and Resident Portal. Those are the two apps I use to pay my rent and utilities for my apartment. And below that, we've got Flora, which is the same app that I had over on my like go-to page. And next to that, I've got Mahjong, which is just like a tile. It's like a Chinese tile game that I like to play. Very fun. Can be frustrating at times, but it's very fun. Below that, we've got another little picture collage. And right next to that, we've got the Starbucks Rewards app, my Apple Watch Fitness app, the Target app, because you know I love going to Target. I am there all the time. And finally, we have the Lens Buddy app, which is kind of like a camera app that I use. It basically like helps you take self-timer pictures on your phone. And I use that for a lot of like my Instagram pictures that I take on my phone. So that is the quick little what is on my iPhone. I make all of my own app icons in Photoshop, so these like, beigey tan icons I made myself in Photoshop, but there are plenty of apps that make icons that you can download for free. One of them is Color Widgets. That's the app that I use to make all of my picture widgets. That also has a bunch of different like app icons that you can download for free, but I just thought it was easier to make my own because I have a couple obscure apps on here. But that is everything for what's on my iPhone. The last thing in this video, I want to show you guys the cases that I ordered for my phone. Obviously they're not here yet or I would have already put one on here. I'm sure you can tell by the way I am like gripping this phone with both hands that I am very excited and very antsy to put a case on here. But I will put some pictures on screen here <laughs> of the cases that I ordered. I just got them from Amazon. I will link them on my Amazon storefront, which is always in the description of my videos. And I'm sure in like an upcoming vlog, I will show you guys the cases when they actually come in. And then maybe I'll have you guys help me decide which one I like better, but I'm excited. One of them is like marble and it has a little ring that you can use to like hold up your phone or use it as a stand. The only thing, that one's not clear. The other one is a clear phone case, like the one that's on this phone and has like flowers on it. And I like them both for different reasons. So I'm excited for both of those to come in and actually try them out on my phone. So that is gonna do it for this iPhone unboxing and setup video. I am sure you guys can tell it's very obvious that I am so excited about this phone. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you go leave a like on it for me down below and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. We are going to have very high quality videos coming soon, but that's it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>